Hi YouTube, Kevy Koo here. I thought I'd make a video on uh, two of my newest acquisitions for my military collection. And this is a World War II, I believe it's World War II, might be World War I, Canadian Army Canteen. Picked it up at a uh, flea market. I believe it was never issued. Yeah, it's in really good condition. It's kind of an interesting design. Obviously this canvas webbing here is where it would have attached to the web gear. It is covered in a khaki wool and you can see here around the upper edge it, it has been hand stitched. Um, on the bottom part it's interesting because the stitching appears to be on the inside. Um, the, the body of the uh, canteen itself seems to be some sort of a sheet metal with a, an enamel finish on it. And they actually used a cork stopper in them on the top. Uh, seems kind of primitive even for that time. Unfortunately, after I got it, I realized that who, whoever had had it prior to me had just replaced the original cork, which would probably deteriorate it, with a uh, standard wine bottle type cork. Anyway, it's a pretty good simulation of what would have originally been there. I also picked up this canteen and I'm kind of baffled. I don't know what it is. It's uh, The guy who sold it to me said he thought it was something that the German army would have used in World War II. And he said in a tropical climate. I, I don't know if the Germans were ever in the tropics, but they were certainly in North Africa during the war, so perhaps that's it. Uh, and It appears to be made out of aluminum. And obviously this little clip here is where it would have attached to the web gear. The, uh, it's got a uh, screw-on aluminum top that kind of and there's a clamp where the inner part of the threads are um, the body of it he said he thought it was made out of uh, coconut fiber and he may he may have been right and I, I don't know I, to me it almost might have been made out of some sort of a thin hardwood veneer anyway if anyone out there had any uh, theories on it I, I'd love to know on the back of it there, uh, someone at some point in time has scratched, I'm assuming it's their initials, and I believe it's CB. Other than that, I have no information on this whatsoever. It's kind of neat and uh, very, very uh, well made. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a good one. Bye-bye.